hey guys welcome to product coders point okay so in our previous tutorial we have covered how to create a list view that can be reordered by a user for example you can see over here i have an app been running on my device okay so i'm just dragging a item number four and i can just reorder it as per my need okay so this has been covered in my previous tutorial so in this tutorial i'm going to make a internet calls that will return a json data so let me show you a json data okay so you can see it will return this is the api that we, we are going to hit and it will return a superhero name and it details so it has three parameters that is name uh, power of the superhero and the image url okay so this we are going to show in our list view by making internet call and which can be reordered by the user okay so let's get started okay so before we get started with the internet calls let me show you what has been done in our previous tutorial okay so this is our source code so here i am just generating a random uh, number by making use of list generator so here i am just generating 60 data in this item list and this has been shown in our list view okay so by making use of reorder list view dot build okay so here i am just creating a card that will be shown in our list view the item count that is been generated that is 16 and this is the reorderable logic okay so this has been covered in my previous tutorial so what has been done over here is when the user select any item from this we are just deleting this item from this position and we are just replacing this item to the new position that he is that he is dragging for example let me show you so from position 2 i am just switching it to position 6 yeah okay so this is the logic been done over here okay so let's get started and make a internet calls okay so to make a internet call i am making use of a library that is http so just go to pop specification.yaml file and under dependency section just add this http plugin okay so just add it and hit this pop get button okay so now come back to main.dart and we need to import it okay so here i have imported http.dart and gave a specific name for this import statement and it has been called as http so now i can make use of this http to make internet call okay so let's do that so come to stateful widget where we are going to show our list view okay so here inside in init state i'm going to make internet calls because as soon as our app launched i need to get the data from the internet okay so let's create a method over here get data okay so this method will be called as soon as our app launch okay uh, so inside this method i want to make internet calls so over here let's make use of http dot response response is equal to await http dot get url dot parse uri dot parse okay so here we need to pass our api url okay so let check our url okay so this is our url so i'm just copying it and pasting it over here okay so this response that is this json response will be stored in this response now we need to decrypt the json data okay so first of all we need to check if our response from the server was true or false so for that uh, response dot status code if it is equal to equal to 200 then it means that our internet calls was successful else i will just print the data the response from the server okay response dot status code okay so now if it, it was successful then we need to get the data and we need to put the data in a list view okay so let me create a list variable variable json list okay now here set state so i'm making use of set state because i want to update the ui as soon our as soon as our uh, data is ready okay so set state variable new data is equal to json.decode 
here I am going to pass response dot body ok so let's import this ok so now this data will be our response body will be stored in this variable so I need to convert this data in a list of data ok so for that json list is equal to new data ok so let me check our data response ok so I need the data that is inside this uh, superhero uh, key ok so inside this superhero key I have 5 well data that is values so I want just this 5 data ok so for that I will just specify the key name over here super heroes and I am just converting this data as list ok so our data is been created and it is been stored in this uh, json list ok so now let's use this and show it in our list ok so let's scroll down ok so first of all we need to get the data length so for that json list so if json list is equal to equal to null then there is no data in it so i will just show 0 and if it has data then json list dot length and now here let's work with our ui part ok so first of all i want to show a image over here and then title and then i need a sub description that is subtitle ok so in this list tell we have all these properties ok so first one will be a leading so in the leading i am going to make use of image.network our network url will come from this ok so let's show that so for that what i can do is i can just make use of json list of index and the key and the key is url so let me give a rounded uh, borders for this uh, image so we will just add a clip uh, rectangle widget over here and then in the title widget I want to show the name of a superhero that is this ok so let's do that so json list of index and the key is name ok so the same like subtitles text widget json list of index and the sub description uh, key is power ok so let's let me see ok so this uh, this is the description this is the name of a superhero and this is the image ok and then uh, reordering logic so here i will just need to make use of this list ok so now if i hot refresh let's check the output ok so now you can see i have the data been fetched from the internet and it has been shown over here ok so let me decrease the amount of text being shown in this uh, subtitle ok so max length line will be 3 hot refresh ok so let me make this circular border as 80 ok so let me move any item from this and check if it is working or no so you can see I can reorder these items ok so this is how we can make use of reorderable text list view in flutter and reorder the items in the list ok so that's all for this video tutorial you can just get this source code from my website protocoldespoint.com the link will be in the description you can just check it out ok so thanks for watching please do subscribe protocoldespoint thank you